What's up, y'all? I am Marcus. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Let's see. Let us do those Costa del Sol things, man. There's lots of fun stuff to do here. Hey, Nightmare, how are you doing? Say, aren't you bored? Yeah, we fight a lot. Isn't that good? You're just expecting too much. Hey, you there, the Costa del Sol tourist information guide. What do you want to know? Come around town. Wait a minute, I'm gonna look at my guidebook. It says, Costa del Sol is the gateway to the west and has a prominent world-renowned resort which has been around for ages. Come on, I don't care about that. If you want a good time, come to the beach. There are lots of beautiful women. You wouldn't happen to be rich. Oh yeah, you're kidding. You can't tell by just looking. But I'll tell you just in case. After relaxing at Costa del Sol, stop by the Gold Saucer. It's a rich and exciting place to play. Head south to the Gold Saucer and you'll find casinos and an amusement park. But if you're planning to walk, you'll have to cross mountains and valleys. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're on vacation, you should go there at least once. Good morning to you, Europa. Hey, what's up, Elite? Tarn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been having some some sleep issues here recently, but hmm, that's interesting. It's not as if I'm doing this because I want to. You see, this tail of mine moves quite independently of my will. <laughs> he just knocks the ball over to them. <laughs> he don't like that. He don't like that at all. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'll get you a good night's sleep, Sif. I wish I was. We're all heading over to Gold Saucer now. We're going to make a ton of money at the Chocobo races. Then we're going to take a trip to Icicle Inn and Snowboard. Damn these spoiled ass motherfuckers. Yeah, snowboarding's what's happening this year. I'm sick of surfing. Alright, well, good luck with that. Hello, hello. You want a drink? It's okay, you take time. Wait, what kind of accent is that? You want to drink? It's okay, you take time. What kind of accent is that supposed to be? <laughs> Welcome to Bar del Sol. Here's to Tropical Nights. Hey, what's up, Thomas? How are you doing? Night Nin, hello, hello. Uh, Kester, thank you very much. Welcome back. It's so early. It is. It is. I haven't really been able to sleep for more than three hours at a time for like a month and a half now. It's I'm fucking struggling. <laughs> I have a plan to fix it, but it requires staying up for a long time. Puff, puff. I can't stand hot places. Mm, Want to order? We're out of that now. Congratulations, Snag. That is really good. That is really good. Congrats, man. Mookie, I really like this town. You could walk around nearly naked and no one look twice at you. <laughs> Come on, please. If you don't buy from me, I can't make ends meet. Well, I want to make... I want to help you make ends meet, but do you have any... Ooh. Wait, is that a double? It's a double. It's a double growth. Here, here, here. Put those ends together. My sleep issues? I don't know. To be perfectly honest, I don't. I'm hoping that it's as simple as staying up all night, or staying up all night and all day, and then uh, taking some Benadryl this evening. I've been having some sinus issues anyway, but Benadryl knocks me the fuck out. I just, I try to avoid taking it strictly for sleep like I but I'm, I'm hoping that I'm just off schedule but I can't really figure it out because I'll sleep for like three hours and then I'll be up like awake awake and then in the middle of the day I'll I'll sleep for like an hour and a half two hours and basically after the stream I'll end up sleeping for like an hour and a half and then I get up and I go get the kid from school and it's like I'm having two days every day it's it's mm. hey I thought you'd drop by that's one, two, four fishes all together. Not bad. 
This this girl right here now. You saw her earlier. She leans it out the window a little bit and she's seeing how many she can get sitting at the bar. She's going fishing. Actually, <laughs> I ever told you all the story. There was um, uh, one of the late night bars that I really liked living over in Japan. Uh, the bar master employed a, his his assistant. He would they it it was like overlooking kind of like the town square in this in this town, and he would like send his assistant out there. He'd see some cute girls. He's like, oh, go 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 go. And he would bring them up every time, man. <laughs> that dude, he was something else. <laughs> Shall we play our hand around here? Not yet. Remember, no compromises. You're right. After all, this trip was expensive. But only your average Joes are trying to pick us up. <laughs> well, that's because we're just too beautiful and hard to approach. <laughs> I guess so. Well, I envy the plain Janes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Why don't we compromise? We'll make do with what we have. Not yet, remember, no compromises. You're right, after all this trip was... Okay. Have you tried melatonin as a sleep aid? No. And honestly, I don't really... I'm kind of... I don't know. I don't, I don't really take much medicine in the first place, but I think, in my case, probably... Stay up all day. Hit some Benadryl in the evening. Maybe get a good night's sleep tonight and hopefully get it all fixed. Good night, Elite. I hope you rest well, man. Let me make a buck, why don't you? I'm slow material, why don't you buy some? Yuffie doing business here. I want you to pay attention to this shop selection because right now they got heal, revive, restore, seal, fire, ice, lightning, right? That's all they got. Well, we're lucky to have that cutie working for us part time. Guys, can we get some cuties in chat? Got any cuties in there? this guy what's with you hey is it you we were in soldier and childhood friends before that you were such a playboy and a fucking murderer why can't I remember your name who are you that's right long time no see do you remember me that's okay we'll just keep on like we don't know each other I'm starting a new life in this town. A lot of things happen to us. Hey, I better stop mumbling. I sure envy you all just living outside with the sky as your ceiling. I'm sorry about that. He's had some big shots lately and is pretty depressed. Hurry up and get out of here. I'm happy like this, so keep out of my life. Man, the localization is so fucked here. That I cannot help with. Europa, other than coffee. I'm sorry to hear you weren't able to sleep very well. I kind of feel like it's a, a fairly common thing around the world right now, and I don't know how much of it's just stress due to pandemic stuff, political stuff, just the general, like, environment that's out there these days. Oh, you know the cause. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> How about a soft as a memento of this wonderful trip? Made especially in Costa del Sol. Oh, you took one look at me and knew I was hard. Needs a soft, man. Uh, there are enemies nearby that can petrify, so this is a pretty cool way, in my opinion, of hinting at the player. Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up, Crimson? Wabi, hello, hello. Uh, good super early morning. Alright, I guess Tifa and Aerith normally go to the beach here. Nice, Jim. You got Dawn of Dreams and Shadow Hearts on the way? Oh, that's sick. 
I hope you enjoy them. Dawn of Dreams is dope, dude. I mean, if you've seen it, you've, you you know how it's gonna go. Oh, Cloud. Look, look at that. Now, this motherfucker. Hey, what's up, Astora? How are you doing? <laughs> hmm, that girl in the bikini? <laughs> Not a bad view. <laughs> Polymorph, welcome back. What are you looking at? That man over there. That's Hojo from Shinra. Get out of here and go talk to him. Go over and talk to him. Yes, ma'am. But can I talk to these folks first? Let's see. What are you guys doing? Hey, <laughs> all the good ones are gone. What about that one? Shall we make do with her? But she's got a guy with her. No problem. I can handle him. Right? You thought so too? Oh my god. These children. Well, Wabi, I'm hoping that I can get things squared away here pretty soon and then it won't become an issue, but... God, what do you want? Is that Hojo? It's his problem. Yeah, that's right. It's the professor. Professor, someone's here to see you, sir. I'm busy right now. But, too bad. Hey, <laughs> alright. You sure are loud. Long time no see, Cloud. Hojo. Hojo remembers Cloud. Sometimes you just gotta do something like this. What are you doing? It should be obvious. I'm getting a tan. Answer me. Hmm, I believe we're both after the same goal. You mean Sephiroth? Did you see him? I see. Ha <laughs> ha. What is it? Nothing. I just remembered a certain hypothesis. Haven't you ever had the feeling something is calling you? Good night, D. I hope you rest well. I'm glad to hear things are going okay. Or that you've had to visit some place. I'll go anywhere Sephiroth is at. To beat him and put an end to all of this. I see. This could be interesting. Were you in Soldier? <laughs> Would you like to be my guinea pig? Oh, now what? Are you gonna draw your sword? Cloud, don't. If he dies, we won't find out anything. Yeah, but if he almost dies, I bet we find out a lot. Aerith. So just shh. <laughs> I wish, D. Well, I'll get sleep tonight. I, I'll do it. I'll make it. Say, aren't you the ancient? I'm Aerith. The least you can do is remember my name. Good morning, Eartha. I want you to tell me something, Professor Hojo. I know I'm an ancient. My mother told me. Your mother? Oh, you mean Ilfalna. How is she? You didn't know? She died. I see. Professor Hojo. Is Genova an ancient? Is Sephiroth an ancient? Do we all have the same blood? Head west. He's mumbling slowly. That must mean he's hiding something. That must mean he's hiding something. Well, Thorn, I'm glad I could be here for you to help keep you entertained during work, man. The schedule's been a little bit bad for me here recently, but I feel like it's been good for some folks who don't normally get to tune in quite as much. Also, V, you're up early too, right? Hey, answer us. It's no use. It's no go. I'll interpret Professor Hojo's whispers. Head west, past Mount Corel, and keep going. Did you get that? I didn't understand it well myself. Ah, the Hojo whisperer. The science whisperer. Thank you, bikini-clad girl. He never takes off his lab coat, even in this heat. I guess that's the mark of an intellectual. I don't think that's what that is, actually, but... I'd be happy to be a guinea pig if it's for Professor Hojo. Joe apparently means 
having, possessed of. <laughs> I guess that's what the suffix Joe means on names in this world. Holy shit. Hojo. Also, Coops with the T3. Thank you very much. Holy heck. I hope you enjoy your emotes and I hope you've been enjoying the stream. You've even got the EMB Pika and the EMB Chew with that one, man. Thank you very much. Yipes, help. Breathe, breathe. Kind of takes your breath away, don't it? If you don't wear a lab coat at any given time, you're not a real intellectual. Fuck. If you're headed for Mount Gorel, then you better buy some soft. At least that's what they always say, don't they? Be prepared and you'll never fear. Well, I appreciate it, Coops. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. I haven't done much soul stuff in a while, and and, and in truth, I think I'm in, at the very beginning of a a long, long ass retro kick. <laughs> but uh, we'll mix in some other stuff. Oh, you're okay. You're also you're also stayed. All right, I got you. I got you, Coop. Gotcha. All right. I'm gonna try not to get jealous of Johnny here. Oh right, I remember that too. Yeah, yeah. And you remember the time when? <laughs> it's funny. Tifa catching up with Johnny is very different than Tifa catching up with Cloud, huh? I'm gonna stop it. That's right. Oh really? Cloud, would you mind leaving us alone for the day? We haven't seen each other for ages, and sometimes it's fun to talk about old times for a change. That's so funny! Because you can talk about old cl times with Cloud, right? Yeah, so don't get mad or anything. We'll try not to be too late, so please don't worry about us. Yeah. Just remember we're leaving early tomorrow. Okay, I know. I always wonder what this person over here is. Is that somebody in the bath? It is, huh? Yeah, that's a shower curtain. Okay. Johnny, who you got? Uh, who, 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 who this, Johnny? Uh, Tifa? Tifa? Um, Johnny? Who this? <laughs> So funny. Cloud hurting right in the Kokoro. Oh, Cloud ain't got no Kokoro. Don't worry about it. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I don't remember where Aerith actually goes. Hold on, maybe if we PHS here. Actually, if I leave at this point, it's gonna... We've already hit the trigger, haven't we? Or do we have to stay in the end? I can't really remember. I think Aerith goes to the inn. But that's only if she's not in your party. Oh yeah, so definitely the commentary is delayed by like half a second behind uh, the game sounds. Cradled by the sound of the ocean waves, sweet dreams. This inn, if I recall correctly, actually has its own unique theme just in the sense that you can hear the waves in the background good morning Nin. good morning mr. gooey good morning be careful traveling all right don't forget to bring a towel don't forget to bring a soft okay now check this out <laughs> You got me there. We just hired her part-time. She ran off with our money and materia. I guess a situation that's too good to be true usually is. Well, please feel free to browse around. Just don't mind looking at what's left. And... Okay, no, he still has everything. I thought it actually limited his inventory after she stole his shit. But yeah, Yuffie stole his cash and some of his materia. <laughs> Craven, hello. Good evening, sir. Holy late stream. Yeah, it's super late. It's super late. By the way, it goes out on Friday, man. It's going to be back on its way home. The kiddo's going to have an off day from school. 
on Friday, and we were going to take care of some business. And part of that business is going to be sending her home there. She just secured war funds? Oh, Yuffie? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm totally sure Yuffie's got the party's best interests at heart. That's definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, because of the, the pandemic, they're taking one day off each week, and I think they're doing deep cleaning of the school and stuff like that. And so, it ends up working out pretty good. Um, We'll actually... Wait a minute, did we pick up a new weapon for Joker Hems in the... Um... Yeah, we get the motor drive, which also has double growth. Shinra Beta. Let's give her... So, I would like to point out this is, this is really cool, man. They give you a fire ring specifically when you defeat Genova. Why a fire ring, right? Now, it's not actually story related or anything like that. They wanted to provide you with the elemental defense nulling stuff uh, piecemeal throughout the course of the game so that they're constantly kind of trickling in some real power to your party, right? Some real cool options. But why specifically fire of all the elements? In my opinion, it is because you can backtrack and get beta with it. Like, you, of course, you can get beta before that. I think we probably could have already done it if we had been, um, uh, if we'd equipped fire element uh, on HD here and then also put um, sadness on him. I think we could probably survive beta anyway. So you can do it that way. Or you can wait till you get to this point and you can completely nullify fire damage. And I think that's why they chose specifically to have that. The white cape's not quite as cool in this as it is in Final Fantasy VI. In Final Fantasy VI, it also raises your M block percent, if I remember right, which, in, once again, in that game is bugged to provide evasion as well. So it makes you more survivable. I kind of thought we'd have a talisman, but I guess not. Wait a minute, I changed my mind. Bet is like 1400, so I think if you pair Fire Elemental and Back Row and Sadness, probably like 400 or so. Yeah, I would imagine you can get it down to four or 500, which is fine. That's really, you can survive it at that point and then um, cast it right back on him to finish the battle. So. Yeah. Oh, later, Fetter. Take it easy, man. Yeah, it does also help with the boss in the Geek Cave. That is another good point, DJ. That is another excellent, excellent point. Wait a minute. DJ. DJ of Demon Souls lore thinking fame? Or another DJ? Another DJ Slayer. Hey, man. It's good to see you, dude. Y'all, DJ is, has been pretty instrumental in my thinking as far as uh like the nature of god and demon souls he has absolutely he set me down the path of thinking about things in a different way in that game and i want y'all to know about it i can't do much but i can do this 
<laughs> also, Vol, welcome back, man. I still, still somewhere on the internet, there's um, a web page with some of my thoughts on Demon Souls from back in the day. It's kind of outdated now, but on that web page is specifically your take on uh, God and Demon Souls. Like that's that's from back in the day too. I was like, wait a minute, that can't be. It is. It is. Man, that was good time. That was good times. It really was. I had a lot of fun, man. All right. Throw a couple of cover material on here. I want to grow these as a top priority. Long range, you don't really have to worry about it. Like, it, it will eventually duplicate, but it'll be the end of the game before it gets there, so no big. And then for her, let's see. Restore. Work on elemental. Maybe revive. To get life to unlocked. I wish I could find that. I wish I could find that webpage again. Oh, speaking of old web pages that I actually I think I found I think I found my uh I guess we'll grow these. My password to that old soul sacrifice website that I used to do. All right, we need to do all the elementals. Fire is almost leveled up. That's sick. Next would be lightning. And then ice. I don't think we're going to be able to get steel for a while. A store. Welcome back, too, man. Oh, steel. Just throw some alls on here for the sake of growing them. How about steel all? Alright, cool. Oh yeah, and you. Bio. Would you recommend Soul Sacrifice Delta? I haven't played Soul Sacrifice with the premise and game play very intriguing. Uh, I don't know how well it's aged, but I like Soul Sacrifice a lot. It was, it it was, and is, and continues to be one of the great uh, Vita games. It's all good, Tiggles. You can catch the VOD later. Get you a good night's sleep, man. Encourage getting the rest. I would get the rest if I was able to. Yeah, I think Delta is a straight upgrade to vanilla. Um, I don't... I tried to play vanilla on stream a while back using my PS TV, but I just... It, it didn't really upscale to high resolution very well, and there were just a, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Damn, I'm soaking wet down to my underwear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stomp. <laughs> Oops, you must be those avalanche guys. Quick, let's get out of here. Heidegger's in charge of the transport ship. That's tough for both of us. Ah, oh, we can't go back right now. I see. So we have to progress a little bit at this point. My bad. I thought we could go back right now and go get beta, but it looks like we'll have to wait until um, probably post gold saucer. But that's fine with me too. Let's 
What do I think of Final Fantasy VI? I like it quite a bit. I think it's on my top list, only about me section, isn't it? Thank you for being one of the hundreds that bought a PS TV. Man, Craven, it, that's it's that's that's a struggle. That's a struggle to hear that sales were that low on it because that, like, I just think people didn't know what a huge value it was because of it having access to the PS One classics. I just, I, I, I hate. I hate the fact that people didn't know about that because these days they go for quite a lot if I'm not mistaken because the folks who know know you know the PS TV uh, the PS TV was basically a Vita that you could connect to your TV like it, it wasn't it wasn't uh, a handheld like you had to connect it to your TV but it could play Vita games as well as yeah they're hard to find now because they're like It's, it sucks, man, because that was such a, a good device. I still have mine, and I'm not letting that motherfucker go. Look, this overworld, guys. I love it. You have a PS TV in storage. I'll say this. If you have a PS TV and you don't, you don't need it for anything, uh, you can likely sell it for uh, a good piece these days. They're in demand. Specifically good for stuff like Soul Sacrifice and Golden. P4 Golden. Before it got released on Steam, that was like the simplest way for most people to play it because most people didn't have a Vita, which was also unfortunate. I love this, dude. Going over this bridge, the waterfall coming out of the mountain. Look out into the river, going into the sea. So sick, dude. This game's such a fun adventure. And that mysterious cave over there that you can see now, but you're not going to be able to do anything with it for hours and hours and hours. So cool, though. I wonder what kind of enemy pops up around here, to be honest. I'm, I can't really remember. You found a PS TV on Amazon for around 170 Yeah, they used to cost like, what, 50 40 50 Oh, it's these guys. Grand Galan. $20 towards the end of their production. That's crazy, man. I don't mean to hit those guys. If you keep hitting those, I think they keep spitting out little dudes. I think you ignore them and target the main Grangalon Jr. Yeah, you target the main one and it breaks them all. The PSTV reminds me of the Game Boy player for the GameCube. Yeah, imagine if it was a Game Boy player for the GameCube, but you didn't have to have a GameCube. Like, how sick is... Hey, what's up, Miss Trigsy? How are you doing? Hopefully you are doing well. Yeah, no. Like the PS TV, if, if there's ever been some Vita stuff that you were interested in that you never could uh, get to play, look into the PS TV, see if you can find one cheap in your area. It's a good device, especially for, it's just for me particularly, uh, for PS1 classics and stuff. If you don't have a PS3, you don't have a PS4, you're not gonna... You, <laughs> ain't nobody got a PS5, come on now. That would actually be really nice. Frothing? Oh no. Whew. Hey, you're actually talking to me. Yes. What is it? I just passed a guy in a black cloak on back there. I just tried to tell him it's dangerous up ahead and he ignored me. Sephiroth. Trust me, nothing up ahead is more dangerous than him. It's on. Oh god, what a drag. Yuffie. 
dangerous up ahead. Be careful on your way. If any strangers should greet you warmly while traveling, make sure to greet them back. I guess that's the fun of being on the road. What's up, Miho? Hey, Tekken. Uh, super early stream for me. Oh, these mushrooms, man. That four laser is useful for building up limits. Hey, later, Snap. Take it easy, man. You like Dragon Quest? I do. Specifically, one and eight. Those are the ones that I like. Early? You mean late? No, I mean I slept. F woke up like three hours into it and I'm fully awake. I love that flickering sun there. Hey, Alan and Raiders. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, how did your run end up, dude? I actually saw you were playing a little bit before you got started. Uh, chat, uh, new type Alan that just raided there actually speedruns Vagrant story. So, so, if you were ever in the mood to see Vagrant story done fast, that's your man right there. That's your boy. I hope it was a good run. Yeah, Perp, I've been struggling. I've been struggling. Hey, what's up, Alray? How are you? It was okay run. Didn't PB today. You must have PB'd yesterday is what you mean? Gotcha. I'm just happy. I'm, I'm happy to see you every time you're streaming it. The, it's really cool to see people keeping the Vagrant Story love out there. No, no, no. You're fine. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I figured it out. Man. No, Alan's a great streamer and a good runner too and I highly recommend you guys check it out if you like Vagrant Story. What other stuff you play Alan? Let people know if you got some other stuff you've been playing. I've only caught your Vagrant Story stream so far. Oh yeah, he's also doing no Raging Ape speedruns so... Alright, here we actually come across the Corel Reactor. She's hiding a missile somewhere. <laughs> All right. Hey, later, Techian. Corel reactor. This is uh, this coming stretch up ahead is actually a really, really, really good place to build up uh, your limit breaks because to unlock um, to unlock your second tier limit breaks, or rather, how can I say this? To unlock your so each level of limit has two two limit breaks, like the one the default one. Let's call them tiers. You have a tier one and a tier two for each level. So like. Cloud's level one limit break is Braver, and then his tier two of the level one is Cross Slash, right? To unlock that tier two one, you have to use your previous limit break repeatedly. I want to say it's like eight times or something along those lines. But to unlock the next level of limit breaks, it's based off of kills, if I'm not mistaken. I think it takes like 80. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but you have to farm kills for it. This place in specific, uh, Match or Magic, is really good you can get encounters with like five or six enemies and then you can match your magic and you can build up the kills really quickly and there are enemies here that can damage your party pretty well uh which is useful for building up your limits so that you can uh unlock your second tier of whatever as well so yeah sorry i wanted to pause and give that little explore explanation while 
Not being distracted by a gameplay here. So overall, this is just a good place to build your limits. Specifically kills, yes. It's not about levels or experience. You were running Crisis Core one last time? Used to do Valkyrie Profile 100%. Nice. It's taking so much energy now. Yeah. I can imagine 100% run of Yeah, 100% run of that definitely seems crazy. Ooh. Yep, see that right there is pretty good for building up limits. All right, later, Calix. Hope you get a good night's sleep. Will I farm limits? Oh, Aerith's limits? Uh, maybe later. I should probably heal, huh? Oh, it's going pretty good, Alan. I'm I'm been taking things nice and easy and looking at all the details. This upscaler, or rather specifically a line doubler, is really cool for noticing lots of little details in the environments that I just never could pick out before, you know. It's been really fun. Blue goose, is that not blue goose, what are they called? Bloat floats. Okay. That MP suction can go to hell. Or hell. Oh wait, that wasn't MP suction, was it? It's like greased lightning. Do they counter magic with Spiky Hill? Or is it just a random thing they're using? That looks like a counter attack. Oh shit, he did. Yep. Oh, are they all gonna hit him? Yeah, that's got to be a counterattack because I input a limit break. So they counter magic specifically with Spiky Hill. Interesting. That's our first KO'd character of the playthrough, by the way. Yeah, Spiky Hill is similar to Thousand Needles in that it does fixed damage. That 200 per hit is no joke at this point in the game as well. And hey, what's up, Rockbot? I got up very early, so we're going to be streaming for a while, man. But yeah, uh... So, right now we're currently in the middle of a PS1 Final Fantasy Marathon. We're playing them all on hardware, and I'm doing them in the order that I originally played them back in the day. So we started with Tactics, now we're doing 7, next up will be 8, and then 9. And, uh, I'm having an absolute fucking blast. Dude, I love the cracks in the rocks and shit here. These pre-rendered backgrounds, they put in so much effort. God dang. Hey, what's up, Monk Job? Good morning. Monk's a good class. These guys poison, if I remember right. Is that their most dangerous thing about them? What are y'all called? Bagna, Bagnadrana. Okay. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Eight comes next, and then nine. And then after that, I'm not sure. It'll either be Suikoden 1, Breath of Fire 3, Parasite Eve, if I can get a hold of it, or maybe um, Lunar, the Silver Star Story complete. Well, hopefully today's the last day of that pattern thrive, of the starting earlier every day. Oh, by the way, these Parasite 1 or 2, I would start with 1 and then do 2. 
If I play per if I get a copy of Parasite Eve 1, I'm gonna play one and two back to back. Nice! We got fire leveled up and all. Sick. Okay, okay, sick, sick. Wild Arms 3. I mean, maybe Wild Arms isn't as high on my list as other series, but we could maybe do a Wild Arms series run at some point. I only problem is I gotta get the games. That's really at this point, the only thing that stops me from playing stuff is needing to beat other things first, and I need to get the games. Okay, where is that fire at that leveled up? Shit, that wasn't even on a double. It wasn't even on a double, man. Nice. I already have Parasite Eve 2, but I would play one first and then play two. I don't know that I've ever beat two despite owning it, which is, and I had I definitely haven't played one since back in the day, so it's gonna be an uh, an experience. All right, later, Coop. Thank you very much. I hope work goes well tomorrow. Get you a good night rest, man. And thank you again. And hail state. <laughs> You know, my time at Mississippi State University, it's kind of a... I have ambivalent feelings. There's definitely really good things going on there, and then there's a lot of stuff I didn't like as well, so... Uh, no, I have not played Third Birthday. I've watched a little bit of Third Birthday to the... I, I do not think I want to play Third Birthday. I really don't like what they did with Aya. The story is also... That's fucking, I don't know who wrote Third Birthday. I want to say it's an adaptation of a novel. And then they took, I, I want to say that they took a Japanese novel that was not Parasite Eve, but then used Parasite Eve characters and world and mashed it together with the novel to make Third Birthday. But then the thing about it is like, then they like, I mean, Aya Bree's always been a cutie pie, right? Like, that was always part of the appeal, I guess, of Parasite Eve to a lot of folks. But they super hyper-sexualize Aya as well, have the whole clothes damage system and stuff like that. It's unfortunate because I think that Third Birthday has really cool gameplay, but it's just like, its story is fucked. I will say that much. Also, Ray Ray, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello, Shadow Hearts fan. So a fan fiction actual property. I don't know. Yeah, the gameplay the gameplay in Third Birthday I think is really cool because it's like this it's kinda like um it's kinda like a shooter, but you can swap into other bodies. Like so you can change your 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 point of attack. And it's like a really cool concept for the gameplay, but then you the story is mm -hmm. ah. it's 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 unfortunate. Been busy moving? Nice. Oh, is it going to be the 20-year anniversary in June this year? Huh. I was planning on waiting till October this year to do uh, a full Shadow Hearts marathon. And hopefully including Kodelka as well. Uh, but, hmm, maybe June would be more appropriate. I don't know what to think about that. Thank you for the info on that, Ray Ray. Hey, later, Earthen. I hope work goes well. The VOD will be here. Dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, we have two Ray Rays right now. We've got Ray Ray Senpai and Overlord Ray Ray. <laughs> uh, if I remember right, this specifically is the part that has the... Uh, Wait, how do you get to the side? Oh yeah, nice circle. Ah. Forsooth. I am with you there, Ray. Like, any chance to talk about Shadow Hearts? A lot of these old series. I want to do... Um... Oh man, there's so many games I want to play. I just got to get copies of them. I've been having a lot of fun playing stuff on hardware here lately. This OSSC is a really cool device. I wish PS2 games would turn out a little bit better. Apparently I would need a frame meister for that, but that shit's expensive as hell. 
So I'm wondering if PS2 emulation is not the best way to stream it after all, despite a lot of the errors and stuff. You actually do want to fall down here twice, once to the right and once to the left, so that you can climb back up and get these. Your disc one of Shadow Hearts 2 stopped working in Russia? Oh wow, that sucks. Do you still have your save file and everything? Do you, were you playing on hardware? Oh wait, maybe it's a little bit farther up is where you get the six mushroom encounter. Maybe I was mistaken. Why did I summon cockatrice here? What's wrong with me? On original hardware? Uh, North American version? Tell you what. Uh... I do you have do you have Twitter by any chance? Because I apps you don't okay. Uh, if you want, you can whisper me here on Twitch, and I'll try to be on the lookout for it. I I'm going to the post office on Friday to send Ben's PS5 back to him. I can send you my Shadow Hearts if you want it. If you want to play it, if, as long as you can return it later this year. Cause I, ah crap, I don't plan on playing it for a while, so if you just wanted to borrow it to be able to finish, I would not mind doing that, DJ. Yeah, it's the North American version, so as long as that's cool. Yeah, just uh, just whisper me on here, and I'll try to check it after I end the stream. And uh, just let me know your address, and I'll send it on this Friday. Nope, we don't need to fall anymore. All right, transform materia. I think we get a better one later. You find bribery super effective with Skittles, as long as it's not that damn green apple shit. <laughs> also, Rob, welcome back. I don't know. I think it would be pretty cool to start up a, uh... Maybe this sort of stuff already exists, but, like, a game exchange club? People that, like, you trust. And people can just, like, play a game and then pass it on to somebody else. That would be really cool. What? Oh, it's you. There seems to be an instrument in that hut that manipulates this bridge. Perhaps it's best if we rest a moment. The shack is here. What the fuck, Final Fantasy VII? Dude. This fucking game. <laughs> what? What? Ooh, woo. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, then. Let's move on. You think I'm PHS to you guys? Y'all ain't even mine. I'm sure glad I'm with you. You're not. <laughs> Whew. What? <laughs> Linda Games already exists. It's called Google Studio. <laughs> Is that still around? I thought that was going already. Hey, what's up, Viscount? Yeah, I'm up early. Good morning, Moogie. Hey, what's up? What is up, man? Still in the vibes? I hope you enjoyed them. I've, I've been doing a lot of gaming here lately. I've been doing a lot of streaming. Yeah, Jim. I mean, it would it would have to be a very exclusive thing in the. Like by by nature, 
However, having said that, I, I know there's people who've been around this channel long enough that, like, I absolutely would not mind to send them one of my games. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be a problem. Also, Astora, thank you for the gift to Alan. Nice. It's good to see a Vagrant Story fan get on, man. Thank you very much, Astora. This is the OG wizard played on a PS2 off the original PS1 disc. No cloud, good luck. Alright, chill the fuck out, Eris. <laughs> that girl. Good night, Robo. I hope you sleep well tonight. I wonder if you can steal anything. I don't think I feel like there's not good steals here. I was wrong, there was a diamond pin. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. That's actually a viewer request name, Kuya. What's up, Sal? I know you're playing PS1 games, but I can't wait for you to play Final Fantasy XII again. I wonder if we should play the PS2 version at some point. It's 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 lacking a lot of quality of life features, though. I, that's that's one game that I probably would play on PC again. Either way. Ow, sure is tight in here. I don't know why my lines in the gutter so bad. Maybe if I turn this, something should happen. Do it. Do it. We'd have to level this time. Well, I mean, there there's the firefly item, right? But that limits your accessories, so... It's really cool watching your party, like, be able to progress after you flip the switch. In the one hand, it's like a, a cool little bit of world building, and then on the other hand, it's a nice little gameplay hint as to where you're, where you need to go next, what you need to do. <clears throat> of course, you see the bridge go down, so you should be able to figure it out, but... Also, hear the, the bird... Yeah, you hear the environment the environmental clue, and you can actually climb up the side of this. Am I ready? For the baby birds? Oh, cute. Yeah, what a rock. What should we do? Take the damn treasure or leave it where it is? Oh, this is Sevens. Thank you very much, Astora. Gifts to Nintel, Daryl, Rosin, uh, Zalgardis, Did You Know Gaming, uh, Shaquille, and Stay Thirsty 3. Leave it where it is. It's got nothing to do with us. Just forget about it. We don't even need the damn Phoenix Down. It's like, it's 10 Phoenix Downs. So baby Phoenix Feathers. No. Right, that was admirable of you. Nice, Astora. Thank you very much, man. That's... You popped off. That's been like a month you've done that, too. That's... You mad lad. You friggin' mad lad. But treasure... Th Sorry, Mona. Thank you very much, Astora. I really appreciate it, man. You see five gill, you take the five gill. Yeah, but you see two baby birds and you don't take the ten phoenix downs. Right? Am I wrong? We've only used one this whole playthrough. What do we need ten for? <laughs> wow, B. Brutal today. Absolutely brutal. Thank you very much, Astora. Honestly, it's been some of the the big gift um, sub bombs and stuff lately is is part of why I feel comfortable enough to actually play some retro games for a while. <laughs> so I I really appreciate it. Although I have been feeling like playing some Neo too, but 
I don't know. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the PS1 Final Fantasy Marathon. Right now, Tifa's racking up some kills. Klepto Fantasy? Hmm? I'm not stealing. Well, actually, I have been stealing pretty much all of the major steals so far, I guess, we've hit. You've just been blinded by my memes and emotes. I think it's because I'm just hitting you earlier in the day. That's what's going on. This is so cool. This this path down here. I guess, is this the river? Are we near the river with this area? About Tifa's rack? No, no, no. I wasn't making any sort of lewd reference to her large breasts. I was talking about she's racking up kills. <laughs> I was talking about her strength, not her sexiness. She's got both. You want to get you a girl who can do both. Get you a dude who can do both if that's what you're into. Hey, how'd you ever wind up around here? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do a thing for you. Oh boy, Coral sure has gone to pot. It used to be a famous coal mining town. They say there were more jobs than you could shake an ass at. Well, you get the picture. Now, it's nothing but a miserable pit. Me, my bulldozer. Everything's out of work. Got no job. Can't even show my face. About all that's left for me is to just live in this hole all day. Dude, that sucks, man. We've got to restructure this economy. we got to get some fucking retraining programs and shit for the workers of Coril. We have to start reshaping our economy to something more sustainable. Even in light of the, the current energy situation. It's, uh... I'll tell you, man, having uh, equipment like that, if you live in a rural area, not specifically a bulldozer, but I think oh, this is a good enemy encounter for building up limits. This shit right here. But, like, having, um, having a tractor and a bush hog, that sort of stuff, you live in a rural area, you can make a good living just bush hog and people's pastures and stuff. Um, nice, the cover level up. Yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. That's sick, man. Reigns, welcome back. Wee! Are you doing the HD thing? Wee! <laughs> we should we should have named Sid HD in this one, to be honest, because the Lancer. Wee! I I love leveling up cover, and we're about to get that cover leveled up as well. Sick, 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 sick. So now. One sec. On a typical playthrough, if you don't buy the extra cover materia, then you have a 20% chance to cover, and then when you get to around this point in the game, you have a 40% chance to cover. We did buy the extra one, so we've had a 40% chance to cover. We currently have 60, and in just a couple battles, we're going to have an 80% chance to cover. And so it makes that whole, like, tank playstyle so much more viable if you just go to the damn materia shop in wall market before you leave uh, Midgar cover is one of my favorite materials it's fun to combo with with counter attack long range you can put an elemental in your weapon if you want to do elemental counters or status ailment as well Thank you, Astor. <laughs> My goodness. Been enjoying these games seeing how I never had a chance to play them. Well, I've got a bunch of bunch of good games lined up. And if you didn't get to play the games of this era, there's some real fun ones coming up. And thank you for making me feel a little bit better about doing it too. I appreciate it. I need to get a CRT. Yes, Mr. Rockbot, do it. Do it. Do it.
I'm a bad influence. I encourage everyone to get CRTs, PS2s, and PS1 memory cards. Felt cute. Might play Dino Crisis later. There you go. Out of effect plus time. Oh yeah, for the, the slow and then the stop potential. You know what? Fuck this guy. Give me your arm. Couldn't steal anything? I'm gonna rip his fucking arm off. You watch. Y'all know I'm telling the truth, too. Yeah, you think, bomb. You think, but... Which Final Fantasy had the first bomb enemy? The first one I played that had him was four. But that's because that's the first one that I played. Wow. His, that arm is really, really stuck on there. <laughs> Come on, bro. Nice, Rain. Oh, the original Final Fantasy II had them? Oh, nice. Or did the first one have them? I mean, a lot of the enemy types that persist to this day actually do originate from the beginning. Been there all the way from the very beginning. Wiki says Final Fantasy 2 was the first. Okay. That's really cool. 4 was where I first encountered them, and Mom, Mom Bomb is a really, really cool encounter. We're stealing right arms, aren't we? I mean, right, left, doesn't matter to me. But we got the right. <laughs> we got the right to party. Uh, Mom Bomb is on Fabul with um, Yang. But yeah, there is a ring of bombs when you go there as well to Mist. Right arm's like a 3% chance. I mean, the thing about it is, like I said, there's an item duplication glitch, so if you get one, you've got them all. Late game. Explosive damage against all opponents. It's basically grenade all. One thing that, if you're wanting to grind, one thing that you can do here is, like, go through, use up one character's MP casting enemy skills on all the enemies, um, and then go through again using another character to do it. I don't know if these guys are weak against element-wise. Whoop. She's gonna blow! Do you get XP when the bombs blow up in this one? You do not. Okay. You don't get anything if they blow up. I take it you're doing all weapons too. Uh, not now. We're actually going to do a bonus month later in the year where we go back and revisit all of the games that we're streaming and do all of the extra content for them. So that'll be the Deep Dungeon and Tactics, the Weapons in 7, the Deep Sea Research Facility in 8. I don't know what the fuck 9's extra stuff is. Arrow, since they're floating. I've got Choco Mom. Did you sleep? Yes, for about two and a half, three hours. Did y'all know, did you know that Tifa was actually in another PlayStation 1 game? Some of you guys surely know. Cloud, Sephiroth, and Tifa were all in a game called Air Guys, which was primarily a fighting game, but the fighting aspect of it wasn't actually the best part. The dungeon adventure part of that was so cool. That's actually a game that I might want to... Huh. I wonder if I can find a copy of that. I bet it's expensive as hell. God bless the ring. Y'all know. Was Zack in that one? 
I didn't remember Zach. He may have been. I didn't really play the fighting game part of it much at all. I played the dungeon mode almost exclusively. Well, looky here. Never thought I'd see your face again. They'll kick you out of another town or something. You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of balls coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault. North Corel turned into a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Or did you forget what you done here already? I'm sorry. Shit, you ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. I probably timed out after the 60 days. Uh, Rich. Have you ever done a Crunchyroll run? Yep. If you check the About Me of the channel, the About section of the channel, you can find the old broadcasts that still exist and lists and stuff. You heard them. It's my fault this town was destroyed. You played Crisis Core? Yes. How'd you like it? No. <laughs> I didn't really care too much for Crisis Core, personally. It seems to be a fairly divisive title amongst fans, too. Do, 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 do. You know who's responsible for, for North Corel winding up like this. I do not care. <laughs> Get out of the way. The only way we can make ends meet around here is by collecting junk. Actually, I do care, but... All right. We've been going for an hour and 12 minutes. I'm going to take a quick break. Run to the restroom real quick. Split the VODs. And... Then it's gold salsa time, baby. Gold salsa, baby. Be right back, guys. I'm going to leave y'all with the world theme rather than the Corel theme. Because, yeah. Be right back. <laughs> 